What's up, everybody? It's your boy, the Trail Collector, coming to you guys with another figure review. want to say, guys, thank you, man. Thank you all for the 100 subscribers on the channel, man. Unbeknownst to me, I was not even aware that we hit that milestone. Um, just so happened to check out my YouTube studio, man, and saw that we hit that, that mark, man. That really means a lot. Thank you guys for the subscriptions, the comments, checking out the content, just, you know, stopping by, man, when you don't, when you have time to, and leaving reviews, man. I've met a lot of um, great people on here, man, that I've, I've um, hooked up with on Instagram, man, and Facebook, man. Shout out to y'all, dog. Y'all, y'all are the truth. Um, so, y you guys, um, you know, taking out time, man, it doesn't go unknown. It doesn't go unrecognized, man. I recognize, I appreciate every single one of y'all. So, with that being said, guys, um, I have a pretty awesome figure. I know you guys probably see it right here, man, but. Um, this figure right here, man, is the most sought-after figure in this particular uh, Back to the Films Coogee lot, man. Um, one of the best, in my opinion, and also, like, the most expensive I, from what I've seen. Um, it's none other than the F Prize Cooler Masterpiece Extra. So, before we get into it, guys, a toe animation stick of authenticity right there. It's really not a fake. A little bit of the box art. Sides. And on the front. Like I said, man, this figure here is like the most sought after right now and the most expensive. Um, I won this figure here, man, from a good friend of mine, man. Like I say, Mr. Antonio Evangelista. He came through clutch, man, uh, with, I want to say, three of the figures that I have out of this lot. And this is like the second one that I won from him, man. So thank you, man, Mr. Antonio, Mr. C. Tone, man. I appreciate you, man. Shout out to you, man, for real. Thank you. Um, this figure here, man, I mean, there's nothing that I can say that hasn't been said about this guy already, man. This is like one of the best figures that I have seen in a very, very long time. And I've said that about the DBZ OG Broly. I've said that about the uh, Super Saiyan 4 Broly that came out, man. But this one right here, man, this one takes the cake. Um, solely because it's a villain. It's a, I mean, it, this is a, a die in the wool villain and one of my favorite villains. Um, when I say that, I mean that. Frieza and Cooler and Cell and Omega Shinron are my four favorite villains of all time. Um, Broly, of course, OG Broly, uh, he's like number one. But these guys right here, man, these are my favorite. This, the, the, the Arcosians, Arcusians, whatever you want to call their race, is my absolute favorite, man. This figure here, um, one of the most detailed figures that I've seen in a very, very long time. Um, you can see right here on his feet, you can even see like the veins on his feet there. I mean, it's, it's highly detailed for it to be a PVC uh, ABS figure, man. Um, this figure roughly stands around 12 inches tall, man. I mean, it's it's pretty much the size of a king cluster, man. I mean, this this guy is huge, man. Um, his tail alone, I know it may not seem much on here, but his tail alone, man, is ridiculous. Um, this figure, man, uh, I want to say is one of the the one of the the prides of my collection now, man. Um, solely because. Like I say, we don't have a cooler figure. I know we have the figure art zero, um, kind of like dynamic pose figure. Um, I'm really not a fan of that one. I don't like the color and I don't like like the little, you know, effects they have going on, man. I'm more of a standard museum pose, dynamic pose kind of guy. And this one right here, man, knocks it out of the park for me. Um, so just looking at it, some of the details you can see on the back of his armor, those huge spikes that he has on his gauntlets as well. One of the things I'm really impressed about is the, the jewels, you want to call it a jewel in his forehead, man, on his gauntlets, on his hand, and on his foot, on the, I'll say on his calf, man. I mean, really, really, really awesome figure, man. A must-have for any collector's collection, man. Um, the reason I really like him is because, uh, if you guys are aware, um, they do have some more villains coming out. We have a sale coming out, I want to say, in December. And we have the Omega Shinron coming out, man. And uh, right now I'm trying to get my hands on the Nappa so I can, you know, have like a villain display going on. 
Um, but this one right here, man, I mean, this is this is phenomenal. Um, now this this piece does come in, I want to say, four pieces. His head comes off here. It's detachable, and then of course his massive tail is one. And then you have a foot stand that I don't really display because he stands up perfectly, um, like you know the way he is. Um, but man, this 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 figure here, man. I mean, there's nothing that I can say negative about it, man. Um, there was one thing that I found, but I, I cleaned it up. It was like a little bit of like maybe like a little overspray on the mask when I first got him. That was like a little slight quality control uh, quality issue, but that was easily fixed. Um, like I said, this figure is a masterpiece extra, and that's pretty much means that you know we get like an extra prize figure in the in the lottery, um, and also it's more of like the bigger figures that we have. So to compare him in size, I have my other masterpiece extra figure here, which is the masterpiece extra full power Jiren that came out with the. Dragon Ball versus Omnibus or Dragon Ball, yeah, Dragon Ball versus Omnibus uh Kuji that came out last year, man. Another massive masterpiece extra piece, man. So you can see just how in stature in comparison these these masterpiece figures are, man. They are phenomenal and they are awesome, man. Um very sought after piece as well. Um really not as expensive as this guy, um, but you know, still quite expensive this guy did not get a u.s release so you know he's still one of the ones that you have to get in contact with somebody overseas to get um now good news about this bad boy here is that he will get a u.s release from what i've seen i've had buddies online say that they have a pre-order with uh, big bad toy store so um you know i think he'll have a release date of december uh sometime typically it's like a two to three month window before we get him here in the states um now, with that being said, as of right now, price for this figure is, I mean, it's through the roof right now. I've seen this guy go from 150 to 250 to almost 300 bucks uh, if you want to get him from like on eBay or somewhere. Um, friends of mine in the chat um, in my Facebook groups have said that this guy goes for like maybe 160 bucks. And um, I've actually seen that uh, with my own eyes good friend of mine lives in Japan and he took a screenshot of what this guy is going for in shops over there and it's going for like 160 170 bucks and uh, so you can only imagine um, once we get him stateside he's going to be one of those figures that you hold on to because like the Super Dragon Ball Heroes Vegito that we got a couple years ago you could get that figure for like 35 bucks back then now that figure right now is almost $180 for a stateside release now. So you can only imagine what this guy is going to do as far as price-wise when he gets to the States. Um, another figure that was like that was the last prize goes in Ozaru Goku. 85 bucks in the States, man. Uh, when it came stateside, that's the first LP uh, stateside that we got in a long, long time. And now that piece is like almost 300 350 bucks now. So um, once you get him, Hold on to him because he's definitely going to be the ones that sought after after a while. Um, one of the most, you know, sought after and one of my favorite pieces as of right now, man. I highly, highly recommend this guy. Um, this is definitely my favorite piece out of the entire lot. Um, as you guys can see, I do have the full power Broly right here. The LP Broly right there. You guys can see I will be doing a review on him shortly or maybe sometime this week or this weekend. Um, but this one right here is definitely my favorite, man. Um, the Broly has a couple of issues, man. A couple of quality control, quality issues, man. Um, but other than that, I mean, it's, you know, it's not really what I thought it would be. Um, but this one here definitely takes that number one spot for, the, for my favorite figure in this particular Kooji. So, with that being said, guys, um, I want to thank y'all once again for the 100 subscribers on the channel, man. Thank you for taking time out to check out the channel and the content, man. Um, if you guys are on Instagram, man, head follow me over there at Trill underscore Collector 512. Uh, there you'll see my figures, man. I interact. You can message me, man. We can talk about these figures and things. Um, if you're on Twitter, uh, Trill Collector 512, you can DM, man. Um, Follow me over there. We can chat about different figures and things over there as well. 
So, um, as always, guys, man, this is the Trail Collector, and I cannot say it enough, man. Thank you, thank you, thank you guys for the 100 subscribers, man. I know it may be small to y'all, but that's a major feat and a major accomplishment for the channel, and I really do appreciate it, guys. Um, thank you for the comments, man. Uh, thank you guys for just taking time out of your day when you don't have to to check out the content. So, um, that being said, I'm going to leave, leave you guys with this beautiful, man, awesome figure, this F Prize Cooler, the eldest son of King Cole, the eldest son of Emperor Frieza, man, the most illustrious fighter in all the universe, man. This is my boy and my favorite, I mean, one of my favorite villains and my favorite figure out of this entire Coogee, man, the F Prize Cooler. As always, guys, and I'm leaving you on that note, keep it trill and keep collecting. Till next time. Bye.